Instagram stories is just videos of him doing bits. Uh, that's all that matters there, really, isn't it, really? Uh, so, we, as I say, we are going to do an interview here on The Voice and Drive Time. Had the, we had the fame on in the first hour, but now we are going to be joined live by Mark Reed. Good afternoon to you. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Hey, good, how are you? Very good, very good. Enjoying a rare day off. <laughs> touring life. Good, good. What you... uh, it's, well, I, it's always nice, but normally it just ends up, you know, doing your washing. <laughs> up and stuff at home. Yeah, exactly. Doing the dishes, all that. Yeah, all that. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. So uh, let's crack on. So let, just talk to us about the brand new show that you're in. Yeah, well, I've been on tour since February now, so I've been going quite a few yeah. weeks with a, uh, a wonderful production called A Spoonful of Sherman. Yeah. Now, uh, a few of your listeners might be going, what's that all about? <laughs> it sounds a little bit like Mary Poppins, and, but what's the Sherman business all about? Yeah. Well, actually, the Sherman brothers were the composers, the songwriters that wrote all of those great classic Disney songs yeah. um, from our childhood, from like The Jungle Book, from Mary Poppins, The Aristocats, Winnie the Pooh. So many songs that they, they wrote for all of the, those great films. Yeah. So we're, we're pr- our show is pretty much uh, the story of their lives as songwriters and yeah. also their, uh, the, the, the Sherman family legacy as well because there's actually been three generations um, so far of Sherman family members that do write songs and have written successful songs. So yeah. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely story. It's a lot of songs. It's great fun. And um, it's one of those shows where the audience doesn't necessarily know exactly what they're uh, getting themselves in for. Yeah. But then one, then they realise they know so many of the songs and yeah. so many of them are familiar. And then by the end of the show, they're all singing along and it's lovely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. So have you always had like a big interest in Disney? Well, I've, I mean, like most people, I mean, I've, I've always been a fan of the films and I'm being a musician, being a songwriter myself. Yeah. Uh, that's my background. Um, I, I've, I've got a massive appreciation for, for their songs and the songs that they wrote for the films. So, yeah, so this when this project came around, um, it just it just sounds tailor made for me to be honest with you because I get the opportunity to play piano, yeah. and play a little bit of my ukulele, which is always fun. Nice. And, <laughs> um, yeah, there's about fifty songs, fifty two songs uh, in the show. Wow. That we, we had to uh, learn, and and it's a really, really, really nice production. There's just five of us in the cast, two pianos. Yeah. But it's a lot. There's a lot going on. The pianos are moving all around the stage as we tell the story. Uh, from the Sherman brothers' father Al Sherman, right through to the Sherman brothers' son Robbie Sherman. So it's, yeah. it's there's a lot to cover, and um, it's been a great tour so far. I mean, we've been all over the country. Um, we've been from you know we've been Guildford, we've been Windsor, we've been in Greenwich. We did a great week in London at the Greenwich Theatre, which was just fantastic. And um, next we're heading off to Hornchurch, so nice. you know, and then the Isle of Wight next yeah. week, which is just uh, across the way from me where I am. I'm in Port Portsmouth, so it's nice to be close to home. So yeah, it's going to be good. Well, obviously, we're only down the road in Southampton, so not too far yeah, as well. Yeah. No, not at all. So, so obviously, you did mention, obviously, you play the ukulele, you, do, you play some instruments in it. Is that sort of what drew, drew you to taking up the role as well? Absolutely, absolutely. It was the, it was the chance, because there's not, believe it or not, there's actually not many where there are parts for musicians where you can uh, show off a lot of your sort of, uh, you know, the strings to your bow. So, yeah. in this case, I get, I get to do um, the narration, telling the story, acting in the characters, playing the songs, and so it's just there's so much variety in the show for the cast that it was just you know unsurprisingly all five of us just jumped at it when we had the opportunity to do it. So then we got a very different cast. Very um, there's a lot of um, uh, you know in within the cast we've got uh, Glenn who does uh, the Jungle Book songs and he yeah. does backflips and very acrobatic and so it's a very um, very diverse cast. I think people will enjoy it very much. <laughs> good, good. So, how did the opportunity all come about to begin with? Well, I, I my background is in pop music. I've been, course, you know, yeah. I've been part of a, a band um, back in the day in, in the uh, late nineties, early two thousands. And um, but I've always been very passionate about musical theatre as well. Yeah. And I've always been looking for projects, the right projects that um, to get stuck into. So, so we're pretty much, you know, like anybody else, I put myself out there you know 
did a casting audition and I was actually on another tour yeah um, it was a Strictly Strictly Come Dancing tour All right. um, w- with one of their pro dancers yeah when this all when this show came up so I, I actually just filmed the video and sent it along to them said I'd love to do the show yeah and then we had a meeting and you know it, it all came together it worked out and it's been been a great tour and we're going on until June so we've still got a couple of months to go yeah and um, but yeah it's, it's a lot of dates but it's so much fun you know, it's always great to travel all around the country, and and um, and and the audiences have just been loving it. I mean, yeah. every night it's just been, you know, everybody's been going crazy for it, which is always always very nice. So. That's exactly what you want as well from a brand new show, as well, isn't it? That's just the the, the audience to get involved with you. Yeah, it is. It is a hard. It's hard to sell a brand new show because obviously there's there's a lot about this show that's very familiar to people. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure everybody knows the songs of Mary Poppins. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I get a few surprises when some people say, no, I haven't heard any of them. Really? You've never heard <laughs> The Jungle Book? No. And I just kind of think, what have you been doing with your life? <laughs> um, but, uh, so I'm pretty sure everybody knows the songs, but still, it is it is something new and we're, it's presented in, in, in a very fresh way and uh, telling, a, telling a story that some people may not be familiar with. So, yeah. and, um, but yeah, it's, it's a wonderful show and it's really, it's really finding its audience and, and everybody that's coming along to see it is, is really loving it and spreading the word. So I think it's just the, um, really, it's the beginning for this show because yeah. it's just going to get bigger and bigger as we go. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Mark, there's so much more we can talk to you about. Um, we've got a couple of questions from um, some fans out there as well. I'm obviously going to talk about A1, but we're going to do that yeah, after the break. Sure. Is that all right? No worries. We'll stay- <laughs> Ask anything you like, absolutely. I, I don't mind anything. Right, you've got your, this is your last chance. It's, you've got permission from Mark. <laughs> Tweet us at Voice FM Radio. It's your last chance, and after the break, we'll be putting those questions to Mark. And it's time. Now, we are joined by Mark Reed on the phone. Hello, are you still there? Yeah, I certainly am. Still here, he's still here. It's all good, don't worry. Your questions will get asked. Um, right, so I, I just will obviously want to touch on your time on A1. Obviously, he speaks to us about how that was and also winning a Brit Award. Yeah. Although, I, our, our Brit Awards actually look like awards. They they look a bit more sort of like doorstops now. <laughs> but, um, Toilet but, roll but holders, they, some they use them for. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because I think they get like you know these designers that paid millions of pounds to <laughs> yeah, that's design true. for the Brit Awards. But no, it was amazing because it was during a kind of I mean obviously I'm going to say this, but it was yeah. like during a real golden age of pop where there was so much pop out there. Yeah. In 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 the sense that there was loads of TV about it, and we had obviously back in the day we had uh, all the pop magazines and stuff, and there's and that's all it's all different now it's all obviously completely changed now because it's all online it's all about social course, media yeah. but we were around in a time where there pretty much wasn't much in the way of social media so the way you built up a fan base was going out there and sort of building up from the ground up and um, and because of that we have this most incredible loyal fan base yeah. and uh, they pretty much stayed with us you know for, for from right from the start yeah. and um, which which allows us to still go out and do tours and do concerts now all over the UK and yeah. we've got a big we've got a big Asian tour coming up as well soon yeah. and um, oh I think I might have just dropped that but we haven't announced that yet well there we go <laughs> <laughs> exclusive on the voice there's effect. stuff coming up there's stuff coming up <laughs> um, but no it was a brilliant time I mean we had such a great time we, we started in 1998 and our first single went number six which was just I remember the first time we heard the record on the radio yeah. and it was just like the most amazing thing and then it just went from there uh, went up to then five and then we went to number one and then number one again and it was just it was a really really crazy time when we all speak to each other now and say at the time we just didn't really get the opportunity to really appreciate it yeah. because there was so much going on yeah, for sure. um, so now every time we get together now we really appreciate you know what we've had and and what we get the opportunity to do is brilliant and winning a Brit was um, a little bit unexpected but very much appreciated because it was the um, it was the public vote so yeah. every time the public comes through and, and, and votes for their favourite band I mean we really really appreciate that and, and yeah. still to this day it's, it's amazing and uh, you know it needs polish every now and again because it gets very um, dusty and yeah. <laughs> but yeah yeah and um, yeah very proud very very proud to have um, won a Brit it's good, good good well you spoke about the fans uh, we've obviously got a few questions in from them uh, this one's from Megan she's asking what was the first thing that you got into uh, in music and what inspired you to carry on with it first thing that got me into music oh wow 
well, I pretty much started playing piano from the age of three. I mean, as soon as I could climb up on the piano stool, I was away. And both my parents are very musical as well. My my dad plays guitar. He's an amazing guitarist. My mum's a great pianist and yeah. drummer and singer. So I think it was pretty much, you know, um, inevitable from the start that I would be in music in some way. Um, but yeah, and also my granddad was a, was a performer as well. So I think it was pretty much having such a musical family yeah that, and and even and my brother who's a dj uh is brilliant dj he he would always play me the the next big thing and all that uh, and he would open my eyes uh, and ears to a world of music yeah that I, that I was not familiar with and and just with that combination i mean i was just pretty much hooked you know yeah. from a really young age and 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 it stayed that's the, the same ever since i mean i'm just as passionate about music as i ever have been so yeah, uh, we've got, we got a question from Christine and Jane, both asking the same thing. Uh, what's, right. What song of, of the Sherman Brothers would you choose to describe your childhood and what would be your favourite? <laughs> um, oh, to describe my childhood? Yeah. Uh, well, I the, the one that's most reminiscent of my childhood is, is um, uh, the Step in Time from Mary Poppins. Yeah. I've always loved that. I mean, when when I think of that film, I think of all the chimney sweeps on the roof going, and then at the step in time, <laughs> the step in time, yeah. need a reason. So that, that one just really jumps out at me as one of my favourites growing up. Of course, yeah. Um, how about yourself, Matt? What's your favourite oh, Disney classics? I'm putting you on the spot now. You have put me on the spot. Um, oh, there's so many. I, do, I mean, everyone does love a bit of Mary Poppins, obviously. Yes, they do. They um, do. But I mean, can I say "Chick Chick Bang Bang"? Does that? Yeah, you can. Does that you count? Can. That covers as well because we um, in the second act of the show. Yeah. Because obviously the first act we end with all the Mary Poppins numbers, hit after hit after hit, and then the second act we end with um, all the Chitty numbers, yeah. uh, which also the Sherman Brothers wrote as well. So yeah. Um, okay, so that's your favourite. Good choice. Yeah, Very thank you. Yeah, the, 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 bamboo. The, the, yeah, exactly. The child catcher still gets to me though. I'm so. Oh yeah, yeah. It's very strange. Very <laughs> Uh, I think we've got time for just one more. Um, yeah. This is from Gemma. She's asking, what does what do you do to relax before performing on stage? Oh, uh, I've got a few weird little rituals. Um, yeah. I eat, I eat fresh ginger. Interesting. It's really good. I literally just chew it, and even though it's that's pretty gross because it's yeah, burns your mouth up and stuff, but I eat lots of fresh ginger. <laughs> and believe it or not, uh, I heard this from Celine Dion, actually. Right. Salt and vinegar, salt and vinegar crisps. Really good for singing. I've had some today. <laughs> you have? Well, how's it, how's it going? G- give, us a, give us a tune. Uh, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> Before you'd had those crisps, it would have just been all over the place. There we go. Um, but no, I, uh, apparently it's the, it's the oil and the vinegar. It's really good for, um, for your throat and before singing. So there's my strange little... I mean, I know that's not really relaxing, but, you know, just waiting in the dressing room and yeah. psyching myself up ready for the show. Yeah. And I quite like to be surprised and not really look out into the audience. I remember when we used to do gigs uh, with A1, Ben would always like, have a look at the audience before we go out. Oh, really? I just, no matter how many people there are, I just love to be surprised. So the moment yeah. you come on stage, it's the first time that you really soak it all up and see who's out there. And that's that's what I like to do. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, Mark, I think we could probably talk all day. Um, yeah, I, I know I'm a bit, I'm, I've got a lot of rabbit. I apologize. <laughs> that's absolutely fine. Um, <laughs> but thank you so much for talking to me today. To, talking to me today. Uh, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. And I'm sure, again, as I say, we could talk about a lot of things for most absolutely. of the day if we had time. Absolutely. Well, can I just remind everybody, we're going to be at the Shanking Theatre yep. on the Isle of Wight next week from the 18th to the 20th. So obviously we would love to see you there if you fancy jumping on a ferry and come along to see us we'll be there exactly there we go um, thank you so much we said we were going to end with an A1, tra- A1 track um, we, yeah. f- we found Colt in the middle <laughs> so would you would you like um, to introduce it for us yes why not I thought that was your job but I'll give it a go I'll let you do um, it <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks Matt it's been great talking with you no here problem. is uh, A1 caught in the middle <laughs> 